camera is. Where's the camera? Hmm? They're all against the wall over there. Mm -hmm. Never mind. There you go. You got it. What happens if I go one more? She loses half her face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back. Yeah, <laughs> you can make it. That would be good. You want a bottle of water or a glass? Bottle, bottle is good. Right in there. I'm gonna stop buying water. Has everybody been told that? Yeah. I bring my own bottled water now. Yeah, I, you know, it's with water. It's fine. It's very good. <laughs> Wonder how it's different from this year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up with an age where they painted all my toys with lead paint, and I'm so I'm sure I chewed on them and ate them. You know, <laughs> and we used to play with mercury. You play with it, break it, you break a thermometer yeah. and play with the mercury on the table. So good. It's good fun. <laughs> so that explains it all. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a letter from Robert Redford. Like Robert Redford? Like it says yeah. Robert Redford on it. Is he going to visit? I don't know. I hope. I don't know. It doesn't say <coughs> occupant. It's got my name on it. <laughs> All right. See, you're on. Can you see? It's your, it's your on, Steve. <coughs> Everyone's just saying hello to Charlie right now. You see, this is what happens every single time. Charlie Nobody comes cares about picture. Steve. Nobody cares about Steve anymore. <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong one. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Come on here, puppy. Charlie, Pixie. why don't you come over here, bud? Gretchen, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whatever you did to the mic yesterday, Charlie, they want you to do again today. You moved it closer, I think. That's as close as I can get it. That's the end. There we go. That's as close as I can get it. says hello. 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 <laughs> Hi, Steve. What a magnificent dog. You're right. They're not talking about you at all. No. <laughs> no, it's all Charlie. No Charlie's a handsome boy in his official uniform. Yeah. That's right. We got ten people saying, Charlie! <laughs> Steve, how was your day? There you oh, go. My day was beautiful. My Friday, by the way. Happy Friday. <laughs> Today was just as busy as it is every day. What'd you do? Train. Who? <laughs> <laughs> we train. I had the older dogs today. Uh, we actually took Boo out a couple times. Boo? Boo. Boo really? Did. How is she? Voodoo did very good today. I was really impressed. I, I think I saw a light go on right between her eyes. Really? Taking her with me now to Colleen's house. Gonna raise up a little boy. Who needs that? Yeah. I think Voodoo's problem was 
lack of confidence in herself. Yeah. And once we slowed her down a little bit um, and kind of emphasized a few things, then it, then uh, she started to progress pretty good. for allowing me to be part of the dog washing team for Stinky, Charlie, during Dog Fest. He was a stinky dog then, I remember that. <laughs> Not as bad as when he got sprayed by the skunk. <laughs> Next week, happy Friday. See ya. See ya on Monday. Bye guys, it's Bye. Wednesday, y'all see you pretty soon. Charlie know how to use the yuppie puppy. Well, we just tried that a couple minutes ago, and uh, either Charlie forgot or he didn't get all the lessons. Or he wasn't hungry. Or he wasn't hungry, right. Well, he did just eat like 20 minutes ago. Oh. <coughs> I'll keep his boy a figure. <laughs> well, do you know why he keeps such a great figure? Because my great mind, I what? often forget to feed him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt too much. Well, he, he's been known to miss a meal here and there, but... He always makes up for it. Mm -hmm. He's in good shape. You must walk with him too, though, no? I do. On your day off, you go for Days a walk with a dog. Walk, usually walk a, uh, about a mile in the morning and try to do a mile at night. Wouldn't hurt either one of you. No. I do it for me, but he goes with me and uh, he enjoys it. And I don't have issues with other dogs with him. Good. So much that I really haven't even put a leash on him in the last year. Yeah. Good work. He knows what tight means. <laughs> okay, but for some reason they're saying there's no sound. <laughs> Every once in a while there's somebody with no sound, and, and that's their animal. Did you just say manners to Charlie? He listens very well. We use the word manners with all dogs, and it's a reminder for them to behave. It means exactly how you took it. I use it constantly. <laughs> Just like a lot of the commands, if you continue to use the same command consistently for the right reasons, the dogs will know right away what you're talking about and will have less problems down the road. Where people start to get mixed up is they use it for the wrong reasons or they're not consistent with it. And the dog looks at you like, well, you say it for this reason there, you use it for that reason there, so they get confused. When you use the term off, that means get down off the fence or something like that. We don't use the word down because we use down when they lay down. That's, there's a difference there. Um, and it's kind of natural for people to see a dog jump up on a fence and they'll say, get down. Well, we constantly have to remind people we use the word off for that reason, so we don't confuse the dog. You're right, it's very, it's very, we don't have a great big lot of noise. <coughs> it's not Charlie any fun tricks. I don't teach Charlie tricks, and I always tell applicants, recipients, if you wanted a trick dog, you're in the wrong place. Uh, if you want a dog that's going to help you, then that's a different thing. I don't, it, it absolutely drives me nuts when somebody comes up to Charlie and puts their hand out to shake his paw. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't want him using his big feet, <laughs> pawing, it. pawing at people or pawing at me. And until you've been bit, not bit by the mouth, but Dug. have these toenails catch you in the face, mm -hmm. um, you'll learn real quick not to teach him that. Uh, but that's just, people just think, you know, that's that's fine and dandy, but it's really not. We teach them to use their feet for the wrong reason. Well, they don't like it either. They don't like to do a repetitive thing that's stupid. <laughs> I found that out more than once. <coughs> uh, what does tight mean? I use the word tight. Um, Megan asked me the same question when I first came back here this time. I use the word tight because when I tell Charlie tight, mm -hmm. I want him right here next to my side with a little bit of pressure on Charlie Manners. Charlie Manners. A little bit of pressure on me so I know he's there. And if I need to grab him or use him in a specific <coughs> way, he's right there beside me. It's hard to grab a dog out here. It's hard to grab a dog that's out in front of you or behind you. 
So when I say tight, and I remind him of this every time I walk into somewhere, I make sure he gets in a tight position before we go into anywhere. So he knows that's where cool. he's supposed to be. His front shoulders should be right, right <coughs> just a little bit in front of my legs so that if I have to fall or use him for anything, <coughs> the majority of his weight, which is their chest and their neck, is right where I need it to be. I don't want to fall on his backside because there's less there to fall against. Will the two of you be at dinner tomorrow? We will be at dinner Saturday. Saturday. Saturday night, yes. Charlie will be there with me. Right? I think he's having a steak. <laughs> Man, ours. What? That was. See? That was Gretchen. There is a prime example right there. I only got a couple minutes left. For prime example, when the dogs over there started barking, his reaction should have been just what it was. It's okay for him to look over there and see what's going on, but he shouldn't be running over there without being told it's okay to go over there. He should be staying right here with me. Now he's gonna make me look foolish, but um, that instant reaction of a distraction somewhere else, and he didn't take off towards it <coughs> in an aggressive or any other way, that's what you want. You want him to be able to sustain his area around me no matter what happens, whether a bus goes by, a bulldozer falls off a trailer, he should stay right there. He shouldn't be running away or running to. He should be staying right here. That was a good example. We could never set that up better. <coughs> and that comes from the, what we call exposure training, taking these dogs out and purposely trying to find things to expose them to so that it's not a shock to them when they see it or hear it. Is he related to, to chaos? Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. Maybe, maybe I won't. I don't know. I have never met Frankie, but I have met Marlo. So I couldn't even really tell you. Oh. And I've met his siblings, and I don't ask me who they are because I only remember Fi and somebody else. <laughs> Clearly, Charlie's the best looking one of them all. <laughs> well, if she's related, it's way back. I can't find it. Ugh. Charlie has been with me since uh, he turned a year old. So he's been with me almost four, this would be four years in March. <coughs> The dynamic in your home changed with Mariah living there? <laughs> is she as spirited there as we have seen her on camera? Actually, Mariah is very calm at my house, other than the staring issues. Um, her and Charlie get along great. Um, and I think it's worked out good for both of them. Charlie has somebody to play with, because I don't let him really socialize with other dogs outside of my house. Um, I don't take him to dog parks or anything like that. Um, I don't want him getting used to playing with other dogs. And Mariah has somebody to play with, and they get along very good. Okay, one last one, then I'm done. I said that twice in a row. <laughs> Baby, are you going to get up? Are you going to get up and get the basket for Daddy? You think you can manage? I don't think she had her pill today. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, bye, thank you. Okay, Charlie, come. <coughs> See everybody Saturday. Bye. 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 Thank you. Racy, you ready to mail call? Sure. Okay, we've got to get this one out of the way if I'm going to try and have her. Do you want to block her here? Yeah. 
Don't let her come back. You can go back the other way. I don't know whether she's going to do this. Betty Lee, you going to get up and get the basket? It's going to be a struggle. Here we go. There we go. Good girl, Bailey. Bailey's going to get the basket. Nice. You stay back. You've got another one here. There we go. I'll shovel it in. No, you put her with me. Ah. Right. You can smooth on the way. Can you give me? Can you get it out of there? Oh dear. This is not going to be a tidy deal. Forget the corn. Ah! Because you know, I've got a handful of chicken gravy and stuff. <laughs> you got it? Was it gone? What a good girl! She got the basket. There you go. Okay, we got it. Wonderful. Yuck! <laughs> There's another piece right there. Quick, right there. Did you get it? She got it. Okay. Okay, you go lie down. Wait till she lies down. Hi. One of these days, we gotta get the stitches out of her room. Hi. Yeah. Right. I mean, her left. Right. I don't know. Nope. I can't tell because that's where her black hair is. Both of you wait. <coughs> we don't want you knocking over Bailey. We don't want. Nope. We're not gonna knock over Bailey. <coughs> you gotta wait. Work on some patience. <coughs> <coughs> Relax. Yeah, oh, nice. Relax. Relax. Okay. We are off and running. Well, it would be nice if she got out of bed before she gets knocked over. I don't, I don't have she a car I can pull it off her eye. Did you even think about it? Or else I'm going to knock me over to get the grace. I don't think she doesn't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No? <coughs> Just wanted to see what was out there? Okay. Karen. Ah. What a funny yeah. card. Wait. Oh, you're quick to notice those, aren't you? Uh, sure. Carlene Stanton volunteers. All right, wait. Snow and ice may keep me away from the firm, but I'm always there in spirit. This is from Scooter Karen. Thank you, Scooter. You think she made that? You think she made that card, huh? My word! I hope she stays away and just sends checks now because it's <laughs> a very nice check. Thank you very much. <coughs> oh. That's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Get out of the way, dog. You want to see the nice card? This is up toward the building. Okay. And then we have somebody from Salem, New Hampshire. It looks like it's a, an application for an inquiry. Sort of box. Mm -hmm. 
And then we have a purple envelope. From the Netherlands. Probably written it all in some foreign language that you're gonna have to interpret. <coughs> Where did she come up with these what? American money? Probably at the bank, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. She made that place. Huh? She made that place. <laughs> oh, she made it. Yeah, Greta. Okay. So we have, get out of here, dog. Carly. The ten is for the chicken bricks, and the dollars for the Bella and George video. Wonderful. Dollar and up. And this has to be for me. If I put a one on here, you can have the envelope. You can have the card. If I put one on this thing. <coughs> Huh? I told you it was Greta. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's any good. Let's take this one. We'll take this one. For a uh, slide, or what the hell? He's got some sort of undiagnosed back leg issue. Mm. How many legs he got? <laughs> what the heck? He's got a back leg. <laughs> no, he's not got a back leg. He's got a back, back leg. Back of the leg. Huh? In back of the leg. Oh, you didn't put of. You just said back leg. <laughs> We're getting down to the one from Robert Redford. Put it in there. Huh. Arthur. With a very long last name. From Worcester. Could be. Well, he didn't say that, but he had it said. How am I going to find out if that's about two? It could be. Let's find out from Bud. I've got a question mark Bud on this. So that somebody remembers to get a hold of Bud, too. Yeah. Actor, yeah. 
<laughs> Assemble on a firm, non-damageable surface. Asphalt, concrete, or firm ground. Will you yeah, put it on the pig. No, put it over here. Put it on the pig. There we go. Place shovel shaft into the shovel blade opening and line up the quick connect. Don't hit it. You go right through the floor. <laughs> That's got a metal blade on the bottom. It does. Is that how it's supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you hold. Huh. All right. Now I'm gonna box. Is that in? All the way. Yeah, sure. I think so. Yeah. Did it snap? It said snap into place. I think. Want to see a picture? Can't put. I can't push it anymore. So let's go down a little bit. Go outside and play with it. I'm afraid of my floor. <laughs> you don't want to beat up the floor in here. That's the beginning of the end. Oh, don't be afraid to strike it against the hard surface a couple times in order to lock into place. Huh, okay. She's doing something out there. Robert Redford, you're getting thrown out. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, Robert. Click more. Yeah. What? What do we want? Something's happening in there. <laughs> eating a box. What do we got? Um, Question? Right, what do you 
Would you like to show left side? Stay outside? Huh? Would you like to show us stay outside? That'd be good. Things around here aren't that many. That's a very nice shovel, thank you. You want to know if you were at the hospital today? I was. Oh, I had this thing on. I better yeah. turn it off. <laughs> oh, man, it's a heart attack. It was that wonderful time of year. When you're in trouble, if your knees get weak. I don't think it's me. I don't think it's us. I'll point it at us. People have ordered that shovel. Huh? A couple people have ordered that shovel. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Someone's well, we'll, we'll, the box. We'll be, re we'll be ready because I think we're only supposed to have an inch. That was up to two feet of snow. And one inch is certainly up to two feet, right? right. <laughs> Bailey got the basket today. How you doing, Bailey? You were good. You got the basket. Uh, a very good girl. <coughs> What's for dinner? Um, probably there's some barbecue chicken. Oh. Would that be good? How is Bailey doing? Bailey got the basket. She's very good. Who's the overnight person? I don't know. Who is? You? Ah, there you are. Did you just get here? Were you here all day? No, I was here. I got here at 3. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will get some sleep tonight. I think. this morning. It took forever and ever and ever. <coughs> I managed to give away six calendars Good. and a bunch of poker chips while I sat there, there in the waiting room. There you go. I had Bentley with me. He pulled their wheelchair. Yeah. Their wheelchair is much fatter. They had a really fat wheelchair. Oh, and it does not turn around okay. in the elevator. And being in there with a dog and another person, it doesn't go backwards out of the elevator too carefully either. I have a lot to learn with wheelchairs. How is Leroy? He's not throwing up. No, he looks good. Looks fine. Yeah, he's down in the barn again. There, there's your expert. He was, this morning. he was perky this morning. Great Danes, they have the ability to vomit. I tell you, they get something in their stomach they don't want, they get it out. Comes out one way or the other. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Just seen all the fluffies I found outside in one kennel. Oh. One of them was a little, was a little dragged outside. I think there were four or five. Merle, I think, is really? a, a little, yeah, she's a fluffy hoarder. Jesus. Voodoo. Okay. Voodoo, yeah, voodoo drags him down. But I was the first like, poop picking. I'm like, how many fluffies are out in kennel four? It's like four or five of them. Are there any puppies in the back feed room in the house? No. 
Where'd they go? Huh? Where'd they go? Down to the bottom, kennel eight. Oh. Okay. That's a good kennel. Yeah. And there's a there's a coranda on the floor in case. Mm -hmm. Well, there there's also there's also the the step. Yeah. To go up the. Up the ramp, so if they did, if the one at the top gets to be a bully and won't let the other one in, there is another way to get off the floor, and that's what that, that's why those boxes are built slightly big enough so they could curl up on them if they wanted to. Did the donkeys at all get cared for today? Yep, I fed them. I, you did? I threw down eight bales. Eight bales? Eight bales. How many bales are you using? Uh-huh. How many are you using a day? Two? No, I'd say, uh, well, maybe one and a half. I don't know. Yeah. Ryan feeds them in the morning, and I usually fill their hay sacks at night and throw a little extra hay in the bin. <coughs> okay. How many, is there a lot upstairs still? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give me a warning. I did see the Dodge train yeah. truck here out of 97 today. I, I thought, oh, I didn't want them again, did I? Yeah. No. That's all I got. That's all you got. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>